All righty. You want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Check this out. Really I've never racing. owned a car that I, I can do that. <laughs> yeah, you never yeah. owned a real race car. <laughs> They're like, this is normal. <laughs> <laughs> He's so happy, like, guys, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> he got gas ties by a street car. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Big tires. Big tires? Hopefully they fit. Let's see. Plan on running these for sick week. What are these? Those are 315s. Oh. What you gonna do with all that junk? Try and lay down a 999 on the motor. It'll be our first opportunity to actually test it and get times on it, so. And if not, we'll just go NA again, you know, nitrous assisted. Bob. Dude, you're getting your new wheels in the salt. I wash it like every day. You can your, your window doesn't roll down? No, it's broken. <laughs> they 20s, but I keep them clean. Don't put this in, because I'm going to look like a fucking idiot, and I actually know what I'm doing. So look. Oh, you just broke it loose. Right. Just got a seal on oh, yeah. What do you call? Zip ties. Zip ties. I'm not like your uncle. Zip strips. Zip, Zip strips. strips. Start what are you top. working on, Steve? Uh, we're working on V55. Murder Nova's 55. Right. 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 Yeah. So we're going to put the 315s on this thing for sick week. And I decided that we we're going to take this side off because when I was under it, I realized that the back of the drum was covered in axle seal grease. So I decided to knock out two birds with one stone, take this side off so we can work on this seal and I can work on putting the tire over there. Or, 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 or. getting a turbo kit <laughs> no but I've thought about it <laughs> I might be putting one of these in the back of the 55 here soon too it's just gonna be a little bit of a seat belt up there on this one bud like that. that's the to level it up bud um. Rob, you look like you've done that before. A few times. What you got in that GNC bottle? Something that tastes terrible. You wanna try it? No. What is it? It's a, it's like amino acids and shit. What the hell does that do? It helps repair muscles after you work out. <laughs> what muscles? Well, we haven't got a lot done today on the car, but we have made progress getting the shop arranged a little bit better so hopefully the rest of the week we can grind this thing out and maybe get it running by the weekend.
Steve, you gotta do the thing. That ain't going nowhere. There we go. Now it's really not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> Two strapping it, huh? How'd you wear your book bag in high school? Uh, Were you a one, one, well, one strapper? No, it depends how much shit I had in it. Because if you get too much shit in there and you're you only shit one strapping, in your book bag? then it starts going like this and just, you don't want that. Get shit in your I book used to bag. Have one of those backpacks that only had one yeah. strap, and you wore it like this across your. You chest. were one of those. Oh, oh you yeah. were a nerd. Oh. <laughs> You're a band kid. <laughs> I played sports. You were too. <laughs> I was not a band every, kid. Every kid that I ever uh, saw do or, that, or I always cheated of. off of them. Whatever. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you would have been a C. You were C one average. of the kids I would cheated off. No, of. you would have had a C average in high school if you would have cheated off. Of <laughs> Put the door down for. I gotta get my trailer hooked up now. Well, Dude, your truck's not even back. Yet. Well, I can't until you move yours forward. That's what I'm waiting on. All right. Well, you got you got two phones now. What? Got He's got phone. two phones. You got a hoe phone. I got one that's the private phone that nobody has a number to, so I don't ever. Have oh, to worry it's like about that now. <laughs> it's like that. It's like that. Got to get a little mud on the tires. Feel that thing, Dude, take the phone over. I wonder what that is. It's like a fossil. Look at it. <laughs> what? It's like a fossil. Look at it. You know, like those. Uh, what are they what? called? That's a pretty big turbo. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. This is a light box, man. Take your time. Yeah. All right. Where should we put them? I know a lot of people put them on the quarter, like, uh, like Kayla Morton. I don't know. I think you need to start a new trend. New trend? Windshield? Fig yeah. Newtons? Fig uh, Newtons. If you put it too far across the back window, then you won't be able to see everybody that's losing behind you. Oh my Steve. Getting ready to How's take he gonna bracket race, Steve? Exactly. How are they how are you gonna see him coming? Yeah. When we run top sportsmen, we gotta make sure we're on, <laughs> on point. <laughs> Billy, did your your truck start up just fine this morning? Yeah, of course. You got a vortex in that thing, don't you? Yeah. That's Five, seven. That's interesting. Lack of maintenance. That's all I can figure. Uh -huh. My TBI started up just fine. Whoever's sitting in the front seat of my truck may as well grab a blanket because there's so much dog hair on it that it's going to be disgusting. So that's me. Okay. Yeah, June has literally worn half of her fur off into my seat, apparently, whenever the last time my dad took that truck. Okay. So, bring you guys up to speed. Dad's getting rid of his 67 Nova. Uh, the church boys are buying it, and he's getting a you guys will see that in his channel. Don't tell what he's getting yet. We're not gonna spoil it. Okay. Whoa. So you know how to operate that thing? <laughs> Nice driving, cuz. You want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Speed and power. Speed and power. And a carburetor helps. That way it starts, unlike that fuel injected pile of shit right there. Billy's truck started right up. It's a fuel injected pile of shit. His day's coming. But wait, wait, wait. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't the Suburban start? I don't know. It won't start. It ran fine. Mom parked it there last night. Won't run today. I, it's my life. It's the way things are. And you guys were going to leave. You weren't even going to help me load up or nothing. I mean, we've done nothing. We still haven't helped you load up. Yeah, we didn't do anything yet. Well, help me tie it down. He thinks he's Bo Duke or something. Who is it? Oh my God. Yeah, you know, that is pretty funny. He says that. You know what? Do you know how many hundreds of straps I've bought? So has anybody brought 
the viewers up to speed as to what is going on here today? No, we are saving it for your channel. We've hinted, but we're not telling anybody. Junior is taking his Camaro to 10 soldiers. Uh, Covered that. Okay. And so Jimmy Dale helped me purchase this 67. And it's just a little bit more than I can handle right now because of how much stuff we've got going on. So I put that up for sale and it sold like that. And so now I'm going to go deliver it. Okay. Yeah. How and fun. Yeah. So you'll see. You taking your dog? No, 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 no. No, I just had that truck detailed. Hey, can you get mine done next? The front seat looks like a fucking werewolf died. <laughs> June pup. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. They're so mean. They're so mean to you, baby girl. <laughs> you left half a werewolf in there. <laughs> Alright, come on, June pup. Come on, girl. Are we ready to go? He's in our way. I'll You're move. in our way. I'll move it. You know what's honestly funny? What? Is I literally parked it there on purpose and I thought, ha, now the kids can't leave until they help me. And as soon as I got out of the truck, that's the first thing Billy said. Get out of the way, we're leaving. I said, you're not gonna help me. I don't think we ever helped still. We're just sitting here filming you as you complain. I did, I did strap, strap down the back. back. He helped me. Stay strapped. Give me a Diablo sandwich and a Dr. Pepper. I'm in a goddamn hurry. <laughs> I think sent soldiers is a little bit more fun of a trip. Than That's what I fucking going. figured. I'm going solo. <laughs> <laughs> Ten soldiers sounds fun. Somebody wants to hang out with me, I guess. I don't want to get the new truck on. Oh. I heard Church Boy is pretty cool too. Ten soldiers sounds a lot more fun. Yeah. Get in. <laughs> okay. Let's see how good Bucko's repairs are. I think we need that thing right there. A Mercury. Put my, put my 408 in it. Mercury Cougar, dude, that would be pretty sweet. I think that thing's probably in worse shape than your dad's Chevy too, is that he's getting rid of. I wouldn't mind having like a 60s Mustang or a Cougar to have that, to put that 408 in and maybe do a giveaway on. That'd be sick. Now you're thinking. Because yeah. we, did, we did a Ford, Chevy. Now we either go back to Ford or we do something else. Oh, well, there's always a Mopar. Yeah. Just depends what's out there. Like that 408's done, and it's gonna be a badass engine. Like, might as well do something with it. And I don't need another race car, so maybe do a giveaway. We'll see. Hello dog. Hello little dog. Guard, that's a guard dog. Yep. Look at Ricky go. What a professional. There's the handsome man. Your guard dog almost took uh, us out, yeah. man. She's vicious. Yeah. Jason. Tanner. Tanner, nice to meet you, man. That's Steve. Hey, hey, don't don't Steve. let him lie. Hey. <laughs> Most people think she's a cat. <laughs> it's like a you, black cat. It tells you barks. <laughs> well, we're gonna do it. We're doing a rear end giveaway. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's a great time to plug it. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, from February first to March first, every dollar you spend on the website gets you in in the win. Uh, rear end housing. Nice. At, I'm about that, to get in on that. Yeah, you're gonna need one. <laughs> so yeah, it'll be the housing, forty spot axle, the new brakes, and. Um, an HD Pro aluminum center. From when to when? So, so from February 1st to March 1st, every dollar you spend 
on apparel and merchandise, so not parts, but just apparel and merchandise on our website. We'll enter you in to win that, which will be um, either a any housing you want in Miles Field, so stock suspension, our four link, or if you're a weird guy, you still got lease springs, right? <laughs> <laughs> that. Build it to your needs. Yeah, we'll build it to whatever you, you know, width, brackets, anything. Uh, four, strange 40 spawn axles, the new Strange Evolution brakes, and then also a Strange HT Pro uh, center section. And then if you don't want any of that, we'll give you 2,500 bucks in cash. So if you don't nice. need any of that, and you just want 2,500 bucks, we'll hand you that. Good for so, you. Yeah, it's gonna That's be awesome. great. There's like four cars that you gotta look out for wherever you go, it seems like. And... Well, it's like, I don't know, man, like, uh, let's just go in the middle of the shop, Thirsty. It's just like your situation. Like, you gotta do everything right. Yeah. You know, and you can't mess up where they can damn near mess up and still win, you know? Yeah. Well, that thing went, it went, it, it ended up going mid 50s last year. Like, yeah. so it'd go 50, like, you'd go 60s like a bracket car, and then it'd also go 50s. Not a bra like a bracket car, but it'd go 50s. And yeah. like two years ago, that would have just, yeah. wore everyone out but now it ain't like that yeah this thing is nice it's a lot it's a lot lighter than the nova that's for sure it's not <laughs> super nice but it's it's nice enough for me no nah, this thing is nice i like, was so get... nervous you're gonna be like yeah this thing's a piece of shit <laughs> nah we can fancy this deal up a bit and you'll be really you'll be riding the train this is so. good yeah Makes well, like happy. I told you when you were sending me measurements about it, I'm like, dude, it's like... It's got the right stuff in the right place. Yeah, everything is where it needs to be. It, like, and the difference, weight difference between aluminum and carbon is like literally nothing. Like, yeah. it's not, it, it, it's the not preference. a lot. Yeah, Todd works here and he's putting aluminum in his car. <laughs> it was, I got a sheet of it over there. It was $500 for a four foot by eight or 125 for a four foot by 10. Yeah. They keep it in stock for all the circle trips. Well, you're doing. You're also doing a stock block LS too, right? Yeah. So like that's just oh, kind of. I got a poor man. That's car. yeah. <laughs> Don't need all the best shit. What the hell is it? What's the blue things? Right. Fire suppression. Mm. Does it have a fire bottle in it? I don't think it has a bottle in it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's got one under the dash. Did you ever find a tag anywhere of who built it? No, like whoever built the chassis did a really nice job. Yeah, the Chicago people are kind of secretive. I don't know, it's weird. Like you can't find any information on the car ever at all. Don't know how fast it's been. Yeah, I don't see anything. That rack's gonna be right in the way though, which it looks like it was in the way at some point for something because they, where they chopped it out. Just so I'll kind of give you an order of events of what happened. Me and him have been planning this a while. Actually, when he was, looking at it to buy it, we were chatting about it, so. I was bugging him. <laughs> I was like, hey, do you think this is a good idea? <laughs> All right, so this is a, the adjustable strut cup that'll go on it. So this allow us to change rod height, stuff like that. Um, a lot of your older adjustable strut cups are really small, so see how like wide this one is? It's because now with everybody running more travel, it's got like a uniball on the bottom. So on the, on the more thin ones, like the top of the strut, actually as the front end travels can get into the into that so hammer made these and they're a lot wider to fix that problem so you can see now we only got like a couple inches of front end travel it's pretty much how all your older well really even now you, strut front end cars are typically built with that small strut so what we'll do is we'll either we might be able to run like do a deal where this is kind of here and we do this yeah. number to it um, or if we don't like that, then we could potentially like cut it here and then slug it, which would be a lot more work. So we'll kind of figure that out. Um, I don't mind just doing a bar like that. Like, yeah, well, almost, we'll make it. As long as you it think it's good. safe. Yeah, I just want I, mean, to I don't care how it looks. Well, I, really I do. <laughs> <laughs> you know me, yeah, yeah. I just want to go fast. Yeah, we'll, we'll try to document some of the build stuff on our channel so so we're gonna put these on it um we're we're gonna look at the back suspension we'll do that while it's here while, while he's here with us 
and then obviously we got to fit it to fit the pro charger so maybe make some changes so that it can fit a 400 if we need to yeah and right now it doesn't have um it doesn't look like that trans mount's removable right which that would really suck to work on it and then i'd like to fix the firewall bit 42 like that that you're yeah. not going to use all them holes so maybe we'll cut this out Todd. Maybe that centerpiece. Yeah, and then make him a new panel and weld it in nice where it's not just spot welded in or something. You want me to rack this right now? So yeah, let's go ahead and rack it. And then. This is Todd, by the way. He's he he does he does uh, head honcho. Yeah, he works on most of the cars now. So uh, I'm normally just stuck talking on the cell phone. And Brad does all the like programming on the CNC machines. So uh, when we brought Todd on. He, he built, that's his car over there. Did a great job on it. Uh, that's how we got a Todd though. Jason. Yeah. Oh. Brad's trying to spend money. No, I'm just paying bills. <laughs> Never Jason stops. The one that spends all the money. Check this out. Really I've never owned now. a car that I, I can do that. Yeah, you You're never owned a real race car. <laughs> They're like, this is normal. <laughs> He's so happy, like guys, look at this. Yeah. Is this tool? Yeah, front Look at look. Yeah, I've lost all mine already. Now you got a real race car. You know what I mean? Like. The Falcon doesn't have any Zeus's anywhere because it's a real car. You can, is this like your cheapest item on the website? Yeah, it's like the cheapest. So you, if you buy one of these, you can get entered to win that badass rear end. Yeah. That so, simple. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, and that thing's super versatile because it do the hex side and if you use it on that side, you do the flat oh, side. Oh, yeah, right. I can't yeah. tell you how many times we've been somewhere and like, like, oh, did you have the Allen wrench in the car? Like, no. And then. We're trying to, we're robbing them out of the tool set, the turn, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is definitely a small That was a dog. Yeah. <laughs> hey, wait, it's Motivational Monday. Yeah, we didn't, uh, I've been slacking on Motivational right, well, Monday. I'll put you on the spot. Okay, <laughs> all right. Give us something quick. Quick Motivational Give Monday. Us something. All right, we can use Charlie. So, that car, it had, a lot of extra weight in it, right? Like the factory, the factory rails were in it, like all the that metal we just talked about that we cut out, all that stuff. And when we come back from PRI, we we're like looking at this car. We're like, all right, we want to keep it a nitrous car because I guess we enjoy doing things the hard way, right? And we can't just complain that the car's heavy and own a chassis shop and do nothing about it, right? Like that doesn't really make sense. To get all that metal out of it and all that extra weight was a lot of work, right? Like we had to really get into the structure of the car and really change a lot of stuff. So for your life, right? Like the thing, like all of us carry around a lot of extra weight, stuff that's really hard for us to get rid of that we don't really want to let go of, but we really don't even need it. And if we can let go of some of that crap that we carry, it's gonna be hard, right? You have to really get down deep into the chassis and into your foundation and remove it. This but guy's good, when, <laughs> that's really good. When you do, right, you, you're lighter and it's easier to get off the starting line and it's easier to do a lot of things. So, yeah, that's my motivational one. Yes. That's good. That's good <laughs> off the spot. He's good off the dome. I was, a, I was a youth pastor in a previous life. That was, kids will, that's like one of the most challenging jobs, dude. I was. They're I was, always asking you shit that you have no yeah, idea. Yeah, and you gotta be you. like, yeah, yeah, you're like on the cuff, man. I'll tell you what, what you have to learn, like. And just expect adults to have all the answers all exactly. the time. Exactly, and I was really like, I, I didn't realize that it was good at the time, but a lot of times I'd tell them, they'd ask me something and I'd be like, man, I don't know. I'm not sure. Let me get back to you on that one. Yeah. I think, yeah, Look how well, tiny that NR roll bar we'll is. Split the difference and then just put like a ski on. Oh, this thing is gonna. We we'll have to fix the wishbone in this, just like we fixed the wishbone in the oh, other one. <laughs> well, and like I think the, the housing is a little better than the one in the Nova. Maybe. Yeah, the, the housing's pretty decent. Yeah. The shock bracket they got going on. Yeah, here. those are trash. <laughs> it's a little wild. Using that wishbone as a travel limiter. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy, isn't it? It is. It's right up against that deal. It's like, we'll just cut these off. And then, 
run it lower and then if we put our housing in it. See, this is a, really the person that matters. I was like, what do you want to do? <laughs> Look at the wishbone clearance. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, we're gonna squat it. Yeah. No. So what normally happens during the day, me and Todd will come up with a plan, then Brad comes out and like, you guys are idiots. We're not doing it like that. <laughs> like that anti roll bar, it's pretty small, huh? Is that one inch? Yeah, I think so. James. <laughs> <laughs> what what shocks are you gonna put on the back of it? I'll probably put AFCOs on the back. I like the ones that are on my Nova. They didn't have long enough shocks, so they made an adapter bracket. The shocks are supposed to go here. That's all right. But yeah, you could put a two inch longer shock on there. Yeah, it needs one. Yeah. That was got a nice third member in it. Was that already in it? Or did you put a third member in it? No, yeah, it already had a third member. No, this is a great start. I mean, it's already light. It's already. It's a really. Four length, five nine. Yeah. It's a nice car. Yeah, it's easy, easy to work with. I'm, I was nervous. You guys were gonna be like, "This thing sucks." <laughs> it's way nicer than your other car. <laughs> yeah. Way, way big improvement. <laughs> Hopefully, the measurements on this thing like make sense. <laughs> Just yeah. the engine setback itself is it. worth it for yeah. me, and how light it was. It's got a decent housing, I guess. It's got all the right parts. Like, it's the right, the right bones, I guess. Yep. You can tell like somebody built the, the chassis and then somebody else like did some of the finish work. Yeah. yeah like, 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 I like the plumb, like the hole through it to uh, around the line, brake lines. I had those wheels for spares for my Nova and they kind of sat too far in and I didn't really like them, but yeah. they fit pretty good on this car. All oh, has been raised. It's got rubber on it. I kind of thought they never had used it, but I just it was it. a big block nitrous car. Oh, it was the right combo. Yeah. Now you're screwing it up. <laughs> I f I thought about it, but then I was like, nah. It's I'm a not terrible investment. <laughs> I'm gonna have a nice light car. I'm like, I'm gonna go all out. I want to keep the Nova together just because it's good. like Tony was talking about coming out and racing it this year when he comes in from Cali. If this thing gets done this year. I'll let him drive it some yeah. events. Oh, that's or I'll cool. I'll let him drive the Nova. It's too good of a car to let it sit. Like, it's still, it can still win. Yeah, yeah. Especially some of the local races. Yeah, you, what do you get in trouble with just when you start doing the, the yeah, big national like stuff? Yeah. Like else you oh, I really car. just want to win War in the Woods and like Gangster's Paradise, shit like that. Yeah. That's really. And honestly, the Nova could probably do all right at Yellow Belly. Like, I've run with Casey Max over there, but. He's faster now, so everybody's upgrading. Are you gonna do another one again? Just gonna keep. Uh, I'm gonna do two a year. I'm gonna do one in like spring. Oh, I'm not gonna talk about it now. That's a big one. Yeah, okay. That's a small one. Which one is that one? The 121. Oh, that is a small one. I say 2400. Yeah. Do you guys want to put a hole in the front of it? I don't care. Yeah, we'll, we'll get it off. <laughs> Whatever you want me to do, I'll do. So, we'll I'll, see where it ends up, I guess. Yeah. Like, as far as how far forward yeah. it is. Might have to, I don't know. <laughs> uh, now you're going to look like Phil Hines, your ex, -nem you know, your nemesis. Yeah. No <laughs> kidding. I don't know if I want to put it there or not. There's four of them, so we can fuck it up at least three Phil's, times. Phil's had a pro charger for a really long time. You know it's expensive, dude, if they put your real name on it, they put William on it, you know? Yeah. That's serious. Yeah, <laughs> Real I, I don't even want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're, you're in the shop. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked seeing like it wasn't too distracting, like overly distracting. Seeing like somebody walk through, like oh, I, I thought it was good. I thought, okay, this dog will be on the podcast. Nah, too. I gotta kick Trelly out. <laughs> she. Do you already make a friend? If a UPS dude comes in or something, she'll bark oh. and mess up the whole thing. You know, she you're beats the mailman. What are we doing already? Well, we got to take the rear end off this thing and I think the front struts. That way we can put it on the chassis table because they want it on the chassis table to do the strut mounts. Still good? Yeah, good so far. From my time, it's messing around. Get easy work of that. 
TRZ called it Gers Brooks. I don't know what the, this is what they were talking about. <laughs> that thing is thin. So those shocks really were bottomed out right there. Jeez. Not much there. Getting the front struts off, the wheels. They got to get this thing down to pretty much just the frame, no suspension. That way they can put it on the chassis table. Anybody wants to buy any of these big tire style short struts, hit me up. I'll have some for sale. Bam. Right there. Thanks, buddy. Be in touch. I'm just happy you're going to have a real race car. It's going to be yeah, awesome. a real one. Yeah, <laughs> a real one. All the other ones are not real race cars. Thanks for coming. I'm Thanks for you, letting yeah. me be on your podcast. That's awesome. Yeah. No, Ricky's going to have to do a lot of editing because I ramble, but <laughs> it's all good. No, it'll be good. So, Thank and, you. And uh, if you want to, if you and uh, if you and Allison want to come down and we can do one, and or if you want to come down to film for sure, or whatever. You yeah. Know what I mean? So, and then if I'm you in. need anything specific from Rick. Thank you. Sunday Pop Tarts. Pink's the worst. And Dove Chocolate. There's only like one out of the three things that I would drink there. First. You guys can each select one. I'll eat the one that you don't want. What? Why are you being so nice?